An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm, hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. I can't pull that. I see Reyes standing in the Quickie Pal parking lot. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Why are you in the sewer? Enjoying the sights and smells, practicing my sewer spelunking hobby, hunting for ninja turtles. Take your pick. You go spelunking? No, you moron. Someone attacked me when I was investigating the alley behind the diner. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. I've woken up in worse states and in worse places than this. But usually there was tequila involved. Did you see who attacked you? I will have them arrested so fast, their head will spin. No, they came at me from behind. It was lights out before I had a chance to turn around. But I'm guessing whoever it was doesn't like us poking around town. We'll make them pay for this, Agent Ray. Just as soon as we get you out of that sewer. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't screw this up, Reyes. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes happy people. Do you know my cousin Bernie? Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes of the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitchin' when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? Oh, <laughs> no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. 
At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No. You just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. Ah, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean... Yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I'm going to look around your store. I can't open that. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Better leave it be. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. I'm a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand, Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. It's turned on.
Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. Lots of super absorbent paper on this roll. One sheet is enough. That's a huge toilet. Seems out of scale. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. Looks like a really big tube. Ugh, they're all used up. there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> and super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-base technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. It's a map of the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. 
Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please don't touch. It's a color Copytron 3000. I have to put something on it to copy first. I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it. Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call from the sheriff's office about a man in town with a weapon. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call from the sheriff's office about a man in town with a weapon. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. It's a closed red box. It's a payphone. Insert dime to make a call. There's a dime in the coin return. You got any gluten-free donuts? Hey, buy me a drink? Hello again. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. Hand over your wallet. I'm a federal agent. I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights. Find me a high-quality Ransom the Clown wallet, and it's yours. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, uh, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. 
But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics Playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any loose change? You got any gluten-free donuts? The monkey paw knows. It looks pretty ratty, and I a mysterious force must be holding it in place. Not getting any closer to that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. No way I'm touching that. Ugh, smells awful. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. How can I help? Did you hex Ransom the Clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the Karma Bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my Karma Bat, Agent Reyes? Hello? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Goodbye. Buy me a drink? No, they're fine where they are. That tape is for official government business only. But since you're a fed, just go easy. We're almost out of it. It's so out of tape. I told you we were almost out of tape. I don't want to pick that up. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks.
I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no Donut Arenos down here. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office Reno flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. Oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. What is that creepy violin music? I have no idea. It comes through the plumbing. Okay, back to sleep a who. Lots of medical books there. I can't pull that. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh. I don't want to pick that up. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. 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 Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Attention all units. Enough screwing around. I've
Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call from the sheriff's office about a man in town with a weapon. Attention all units. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map. What a nice copy. And in color, too. We should split up. Whatever. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Sure, I'll carry your crap. Like I don't have enough to carry already. The prints are really clear. There's definitely a clear fingerprint here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. There's definitely a clear fingerprint here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible.
definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will of course refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. This suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. That worked. I have a blood sample. It's a map of the county. This should help me find my way around. You got any ransom swag? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. Hand it over and save us both a lot of trouble. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It looks like something with blood on it. That's not blood, just river mud. Hand over the damn wallet. Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? 
I could legally beat you senseless for the wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets he used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. The heavy rough iron gate to the tomb is closed, but I see a switch inside. Flowers always die. I'd rather leave these to rest in peace. Thanks. I hope you kept your eyeballs off it. Thank you. 
Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit Reno. Hmm. Odd. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We have the fingerprint report. Sure. We need a blood match using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <sighs> You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? <laughs> what nonsense. My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's nose says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into our room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding... 